Hey everyone, it's Mark Skipper Mark. Over the past few weekends, Nancy, Matt, and I have gone up to Lake Winnipesaukee and we've taken a lot of uh, video footage, but nothing that was really worth having a video of by itself. But as we drove around and toured different areas and saw different things, we got a lot of footage, so we decided to make a video about uh, the scenic areas. So we're calling this one a scenic tour of Lake Winnipesaukee. We also have a video that we made about the boats, and I'm gonna link to that one up here. Not exactly sure where it is, but I think it's on the left here. So we're gonna link to that. That's just about the boats of Lake Winnipesaukee. But this tour is about the scenic areas. We go to a castle. It's called Castle in the Clouds. We see a beautiful waterfall. A lot of neat stuff. So hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching, and hope everyone has a great day. Thanks so much. Continue for 17 miles. Welcome to New Hampshire. The New Hampshire rest stops that we pass along the way are decorated really cool both inside and out. The first lake we come to once we get off the exit is Lake Winnesquam, the fourth largest lake in the state. Not to be confused with Squam Lake, which is where the movie on Golden Pond was filmed. With winter just around the corner, the ski shops were having large tent sales. This is Pogus Bay, the largest bay on Lake Winnipesaukee. It's over 1,200 acres and probably bigger than many lakes in some states. The Naswa Resort is known for its colorful cottages, its lively parties, and live bands on its beach. The Weirs Beach area is the heart of Lake Winnipesaukee. It's where Bike Week is held. You can catch a ride on a 200 plus foot motor yacht and it's got a lot of arcades and all kinds of fun stuff to do. Turn left onto Tower Street. In a quarter mile, turn right onto US 3 North Endicott Street North. This town is called Meredith. It's our favorite place to visit. It has hotels, restaurants, a lot of docks so you can enjoy just watching people come in with their boats all day long. And it's just a really neat little town. After buying some snacks at our favorite gas station, we decided to head out and do some sightseeing. I can't go fast because I have a manual. I don't know how to drive.
one of the largest marinas on the lake is called Trexler's and it's really cool because they stack the boats up like five and six high in their storage areas. Long Island Bridge Campground is right next door. We used to camp there when we were younger, but we don't really enjoy tent camping anymore. Long Island is one of the largest islands on the lake and one of only a few that are accessible via car. The water near the bridge that connects to the island is shallow and warm so people swim there all the time, anchor their boats and just have a great time. All right, so we've turned around and are heading back. We're going to pass the Long Island Bridge Campground again, and then Trexler's Marina. We're actually heading to a place called Castle in the Clouds. It's a really old historic house way up on a mountainside with beautiful views overlooking the lake. Now they said that um, it can take up to an hour to get up to the top, yeah. but I think that's because they want you to stop and like do sightseeing and stuff. This is a one or a two lane road, man. No, it said one way. <laughs> I was just joking. <laughs> On the way up, you can stop at a little rock called Pebble. There's also lots of hiking trails in the area. We hiked on one for maybe half a mile and we came to a beautiful waterfall. I feel like we're gonna come up here and like be, have a super scenic view. I'm gonna slow down just because I'm gonna take it right now. Sorry. Once you get toward the top, there's a really scenic overlook that's nice to visit. Once you get to the top, there's another really nice overlook. There used to be a restaurant in the area. I'm not sure if it's still there, but we didn't really have time to check it out if there was. The views in the area are really, really pretty. I imagine they're really pretty once the leaves change color in the fall. We took the scenic windy road on the way up. On the way down, you have to take the service road. One weekend when we were there, there was a craft fair happening in the downtown area of Meredith. They closed all the roads and people set up tents everywhere. There was food and it was a really fun time. Next to the boat docks is a restaurant called the Town Docks. 
other than the gas station which serves great sandwiches and pizza it's our favorite place to eat they serve american food and the views are amazing because you're literally sitting right on the edge of the water so There's a boardwalk that goes all along the water from the north part of the Meredith Bay all the way around to a hotel called Church Landing. The gazebo is a popular photo spot. When there's weddings at Church Landing, the bride and groom always get photographed in it. It's just a fun place to hang out. Church Landing is the most expensive hotel in the area, but the nice thing is there's three other hotels that are affiliated with it, so you can stay at those, but then use the facilities at all of the hotels. to head home and that's it so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day thank you all right everyone say goodbye to the lake It doesn't look it, but this hill is crazy steep. Thousands of boats pass under the bridge every day that connects Pogus Bay to Lake Winnipesaukee. The line of boats extends for miles with boats wanting to get into the bay and out to the lake. As we pass over the Route 3 bridge over Lake Winnesquam, you can see the sandbar off in the distance. And now we're at another great New Hampshire rest stop to pick up some coffee and candy for the ride home.